Welcome to all. In today's Photoshop tutorial, we will see how to insert an image inside your text. Choose a background image of your choice. I have chosen a scenery image. Select the horizontal type tool. And uh, I am using the impact font family. The color of the font doesn't matter. So, type a text, something hello. Okay. Now, the color of the font doesn't affect your text or the process you are going to do. So, now it's perfect. Select the, we have to comment the edit that we have done now. So, select the tick mark over there. And uh, using the move tool, now you can move the text across your image. Now, edit, free transform or control T. Now, we can increase or decrease the size of our text or even we can move the text diagonally across our image. I wish my text to be diagonally present across my image. Okay, fine. Convert the current process. Now, <coughs> our text is being placed across our uh, across the image. Now, we have to bring our text layer beneath the background layer because our image has to be inserted inside our text. So in our layer stack, our text layer should be underneath the background layer. I am not able to do it because the background layer is being locked. To unlock it, double click. Once you double click, a new window pops up. By default, that will be the name of the layer. You can use the default name or you even you can change it to something background. Ok, now drag and drop your text layer below the background layer. Now it's below the background layer. So now our text layer is below the background layer. Hold the Alt key and select the area between the background and the text layer. And now as you can see, our image is being inserted inside our text. Now our image is inserted inside the text and my text looks plain. So I am going to add a style to it. So select the layer style and select drop shadow. In drop shadow, increase the distance a little bit. If you increase the distance, you can see in the text, the, drop, the shadow drops to a little bit of distance we have mentioned here. So, I am giving about 39 pixels. Click on OK. Now, our text has an effect of drop shadow. Again, I am going to add a bevel and an emboss effect. So, in bevel and emboss, increase the depth. and the size this is good so click on ok so now our text has an effect of bevel and emboss and drop shadow. It's fine. Now our background area is plain. You can either leave it plain or you can add a background to it. So take a copy of the background layer. So move the background copy below the text layer. 
now as you can see the background layer now we have a background to our text so i am going to add a little bit of a filter kind of style to my background layer so filter i'm sorry select the background copy layer filter blur and radial blur in radial blur my blur method should be zoom increase the amount of zoom as you wish and as in my image i have as you can see sun rays are spreading all over the earth so i wish my zooming should happen somewhere here so that the sun rays pierce through my letters that is pierce through my through my text so click on okay it will take a few minutes to process and as you can see the sun rays pierce through my text so our tutorial of how to insert an image inside the text is ready try it out and i'll see you in another photoshop tutorial thank you